Okay, I had no idea I'm coming out, but now I just realized. Okay, so we have translator. Okay, good. We have uh, somebody very special to announce right now. I'm not going to take too long. Yeah. Tomomi was supposed to be with me. That's why I didn't realize what's going on. But the person I'm going to announce, you guys know, it's Dr. Anna Becker. And I want to tell a short story about her before she comes out. When it comes to numbers, when it comes to AI, she's the genius. At, at very young age, she solved a very, very complicated mathematical equation that for over 30 years, no scientist can solve it. When that happened, she started receiving a lot of calls from different professors who was asking her to help, to help them with their other problems that they had. There was one specific uh, doctor who was working on aging DNA and they could not solve some kind of numbers for a very, very long time and they were getting ready to shut it down. But when they saw uh, Dr. Anna, what she sold, they asked her to help. After a long, six months her working with a professor they she sold it then her journey went on to a financial industry because that's what she loves in finances she worked with uh, hedge funds and uh, she worked really with a really one a big hedge fund in singapore where she also was doing uh, uh, trading ai for them today dr anna becker and her team, scientists, quant scientists, are working on something big for us, for all of you who's in DAISY. And one thing I want to say, the most successful people in the world, they fail the most of the time. If I, I want to ask quick, if you can raise your hand, who knows uh, Harry, Harry Potter? This lady who wrote this book, her first, before she published her first book, she failed 12 times. She got rejected 12 times before she published her first book. Michael Jordan, basketball player, do you guys know him? Yes, he was kicked out from college basketball because he was the worst player in that team. He lost hundreds of games. He lost, he, he missed shoot tens of thousands different shots, but he said, I succeeded because I fell over and over and over in life again. The way I look at those things, it's not a failure, it's a success. It's just a process, going through the process of step by step. Dr. Anna and her team right now in a process of building something amazing for us. And she's going to share with us right now about the process and where we are and what she's doing. So I would like to ask you all to stand up and give her a warm welcome. No music for Dr. Anna? Minasan konnichiwa. Kona soborashi kunide e ai dikite orishi desu. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here and uh, I want to start with thanking you because as our founder said, it was our dream to do what we do right now. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting us, for crowdfunding us, and for enabling us to do what we do. Excellent. 
I would like to start with the motivation for this project and the vision that we all had uh, for this story. I had this vision in 2000, uh, 2001. I wanted to create tools that will enable regular people to enjoy financial freedom and the puzzle of being able to create technology, having partners and having the support of the people for this project, what was, what was missing till today. Specifically, as we defined it in Dubai, our product is about crea creating breakthrough financial opportunity for people. We're talking about opportunity based on risk capital to change your financial welfare while we're not thinking about get rich quick scheme, but about five, 10 years. For me, it's very important to help people to get to the new level of financial freedom, to be able to get more education, to get uh, uh, more capabilities, to get to the new level with their life. So what is high opportunity? High opportunity investments is the investments where we have high return, first of all, because we want to get to the new level. With high return comes high risk. And as we discussed, we need high probability to differentiate it from gambling and other opportunities. But what I realized that it's no less important for us as a community that we're receiving the money from the world using advanced tools is to understand that we're also contributing to the world. I don't want even for us as a small retail people to feel that we're only getting without giving. So when we talk about BE4, we as Endotech, we are committed to make this investment in trading in innovative markets like crypto. So we will never invest in shady markets. We will also look for high opportunity in markets that we believe. So again, we see that we are the bridge between people and their investment into innovation and getting benefit from this investment as BFO. So the main question is how do you do BFO as, as a single person? And the most important thing that I want to tell you, never do it yourself. I went through 30 years of Nobel Prizes given to financial scientists and specialists. And the smartest guys in finances said, we either not equipped as people to handle high risk, or we are not able to predict what we think that we are predicting when we trade, or even if we have everything aligned for us, we still are not able to control ourselves. So let's trust all the smart people and understand that we need help. We cannot do it ourselves without help of technology. So who is currently getting BFO? We know about single companies that doing BFO for high net worth individuals, institutional clients, or companies that are unavailable to outside investors. These companies, they have complete operation of traders, quants, developers that are doing algorithms, financial analytics, 
technology and 24-7 operation. So for us, as individuals, there is no easy or smart way to get B4. Be we either try to invest in low risk or we investing in high risk, but more or less as a buy and hope approach. The, the main thing that I want to talk about right now, and this will be a little bit complicated subject, is about risk. The risk for us as people is always connected to danger. And this is normal. 99% of the time when I ask client how much risk you would like to take in order to get your returns, the answer is zero. And then I try to be reasonable with a person. I'm trying to say, you know that there is no return without risk. The answer is still zero. So, and it's good and correct answer because we are not structured to think about risk as something positive. We know that all the achievements were done by taking risks. And when you approach risk as a professional, as a mathematician, as a scientist, you can extract value from taking risk. So I want to remind you about the triangular that we drew the first time in Dubai. It's our triangular of financial investments. When we're talking about investments, we need to think about three elements, return, risk, and probability. When a regular person thinks about risk, he thinks about the fact that he wants very low risk, he can get very low return, this he understands, but it will happen with high probability. So just try to memorize the colors. We want green, we want blue, and we don't want red. When we talk about meat risk like stocks, we all understand that we're increasing all of the elements at the same time. For example, 20% return, 20% risk, and very high probability or mid probability of 50-50. But when we get to high returns, that's where we're talking about B4 we all immediately go into a situation with low probability. We know what's happening with gambling. You get 100% return, you get 100% of risk, and your probability is 25%. And if you do it again and again, you can still have high risk, high return, but the probability will go near to zero. So gambling fails on probability. Lottery is extreme case of such triangular. So you saw that regular tools and regular thinking is working on keeping the risk, increasing return, but removing the probability. In BFO, we are committed to create probability and to keep, keep probability high. This is the main difference. Once we complete our project, 
during the first year of investing in BFO, people will experience this triangular. During five years of the project running for them, software running for them, they will have even higher probability, but the risk will go down. And it's easy to understand. We are putting risk capital to work, and then after one or two years, we already have profits of more than 100%. So we can withdraw some of the risk capital, of the full risk capital, and then our risk goes to zero. And then returns continue to compound while risk is very, very low to continue to participate. So as you see, the main story to make it happen is to create tools that keep high probability. So this is the main question of what we are doing in Endotech. We creating tools to achieve this 80% probability to have high returns. We are creating universal trader. Let's try to understand it, what's involved in creating universal trader. We are taking all the trading skills available to people right now, modeling them using AI, we adding the element of quant work. Quant is statistician, scientist, analyst, and making it fully adaptable to the markets. It's a huge endeavor that we took on ourselves in 2021. To create any of the elements is a big project. To put them all together, it's what literally impossible. So let's imagine what are the things that we're putting into the trader. He starts with the fact that he learns about the market. Every professional trader works with different time frames. He looks at one month and he sees one picture. He looks at one week resolution and he sees a bit different picture. He sees one day, he sees four hours, and he sees one hour. While on previous time frames, he could feel that market is, is bearish. On one hour, currently he's seeing it stagnating. Again, different picture in 30 minutes, even more 15. Bullish on one minute. Then the elements of market states. Sometimes we have trends going up. They are very, very different in structure than trends that are going down. Even more difference we have see in structure of the market when it's flat. We have markets sliding up, we have markets sliding down, and the most important, and the most important is that for each type of market, you need different algorithm to catch its movements. For example, we have downtrend, then what elements come into it? We're looking at support and resistance lines. They can be static, they can be dynamic. They can be the ones to define market state. They can be Fibonacci lines. If you look at each of these lines, it looks like they are perfect fit for what's going on on the market. So you need to choose at what time and how to use each of them. Then, as Larry Williams said, 
you cannot be disconnected from the fundamental analysis. And now more and more crypto market is driven by fundamental analysis. So we have AI reading the newspaper and reading the news and also consulting with us as humans of what is the feel of the market. To make things even more complicated, we as people that work with computers, we understand that we need to bring computer logic into the system. Till now, we spoke about trader skills. Now we need to have computer skills, how to do things. Here comes the signal detection theory. Similar to what we have in any other field, not only finances, there is a signal and there is a noise. So when we hear my voice, you hear the words, but you also hear my breathing. But the breathing is not strong enough for you to lose meaning of the word. In markets, many times, the signal, which is in our case, trend, the middle line, gets lost into the details of the market of the noise. So mathematicians, they add additional definitions in order to work with the market. And this definition helped them to work with any market without really understanding it. And this is the bridge between traders and quants. Now, I will not read through the names, but it's very important that every successful trader and company, they have their proprietary ideas of how to approach and define the market. When we completed the development of 2.0, we basically, version 2.0, we basically created all the infrastructure for universal trader. But now, these days, we're working on improving and connecting all the proprietary indicators to the infrastructure. And here I want to say about the excitement that we have as a team. While the building of 2.0 was very heavy and it was even depressing. Right now we are at the phase where every day we have good news. The management style in Endotech called surprise me. This is our motto to get to the result that surprises us. So my team of 17 quants and traders and developers, we have roadmap where every week we have new version. And every day I get five to 10 reports with different elements tested and we have happy moments of improvement and kind of aha moments. We set to ourselves goal to predict the market with 50% accuracy. And currently our version predicts the market with 62% of accuracy. So while we are extremely happy with the result, we still have a lot of things to accomplish before we launch BFO. And while I explain to you the complexity of what we're building, <coughs> uh, the main issue right now lies in the fact that we're building the final layer of probabilities that a probabilistic approach to signals and risk reduction and money management and weight matrix for entries and exits, all these complicated terms to make it stable and to make it with high probability for the future. Again, without complicated terms, we are 
we created universal trader but he still needs some leg to start working. As a simple example is in our latest downtrend, our trader took the short signals but we didn't know what how much money to put on the single trader that was doing that. So we still need some legs for the traders to walk. Just to give you perspective of how Endotech functions right now as a development, while 2.0 already created for us the tools of AI together with backtesting and analysis and optimization software, Quant team continues using it and requesting development team for additional you know, legs and hands for our robot to work properly. So when he will be born, our robot and will see the world in the way that we plan it for BE4. Unfortunately, there is no date. Maybe tomorrow we will see it marching properly. Maybe we will still need to work on it for a few months. While it always looks like we are there, we keep discovering new challenges for AI. But what we are sure of that with 62% of accuracy rate, we can launch it this year. But for us, it's very important to get it to the best state possible. So we will be, pos we will be able to launch it to the world and to the masses. While the, all the technical elements of execution technology and the company are already there, and we saw performance of Forex. In crypto, what we are looking for is for crypto to start performing in high, not only digit, but in high hundreds of the performance. What I want to uh, uh, stop for a moment is in comparison between Forex and crypto performance. It's not only about final return, it's about two different approaches. We are all extremely happy with returns, but you need to understand that there is no such things as high return without high risk. So by having a skillful AI trader we can work with these risks, but the risks are still there. So daily-wise, we're risking up to 32% of the capital. You still, you don't see it because it's our risk, internal risk that we are taking. But the takeaway from you, for you, for this story of risk, this is not a compound story of returns you need to minimize risk for you by withdrawing the profits. The crypto, once it starts working, this is opposite. It's high return, high risk, but compound story that we will need to stick with for years. And uh, let's not, not forget that in crypto, we did share uh, 30, 30 million in Mm? 34 million in profits uh, as a payout. So crypto, even this underperforming at the moment, it had its moments. So the idea of the future for all of us is that once we complete B4 project, for each of the people involved in Daisy, Endotech, and our future clients, we will have different risk profiles, different B4 investments. And 
Again, this is our vision, which became even more crystallized uh, uh, with a new idea of where we should invest, that people will use their risk capital, their small risk capital that they can afford to lose, to make investment in innovative markets or high demand mar market that you know, we need and have before for themselves. So it's give and take that will be healthy and will be profitable for us and the world. Thank you so much for listening. And you know, let's look forward to our future. Thank you so much for listening. Let's look forward to our future.